cables, whatever. Well, I don't know, something. Then I'm looking. And I came across a sock contract was, that wasn't in the right category. I'm in construction services. Selling socks is totally different. I'm like, what the what? Before I knew it, I didn't set up a subsidiary under my corporate structure. I didn't find me a sock wholesaler that said I ain't got to pay them back for 90 days because I know if I get a contract, it's net 30. I can make my profit. I was getting ready to make $84,000 in six months. I was on this thing. I'm four hours in. <laughs> Ain't doing what the client paid me for. Hell with them. <laughs> <laughs> they buy toast separators. They buy books. They buy paper. The Bureau of Prison will buy every sock mm. and book that you mm. write. Mm. Job Corps yeah. will buy every self-help book mm. you write. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Mm. Wow. I have a question. That goes with my teacher affirmations. Mm. <laughs> with this, where I work, they have, um, they have this conference every year and I stumbled upon it this year and what I see what they do what they're doing now in the state of New York governor what's his name? Cuomo oh, yeah. they have it where if you become a business owner owner under this 10 years tax exempt but you have to be um you have to be connected or networked with a university in the area, senior citizens. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at all these different things, mm -hmm. but it's only in Albany. They're everywhere. Every state has this program. So. Every state has it. And they buy anything you say. I didn't know what a rag was. I, you know, I'm, I'm from East St. Louis. I thought it was a towel you cut up that was, you know, raggedy on the end. Mm -hmm. They buy rags. They buy accounting services. They buy eyeglasses. They buy everything. You got, web, well, you're the web developer. You can go teach music. They want you. Mm -hmm. They buy real estate and then sell it back to you. Don't ask me. It's mm -hmm. a game. It's a pimp game. Oh, yeah. They'll take the house from you and then sell it. But they'll need a realtor to sell it. So they hire realtors. They do. They buy everything. They buy detergent. They buy every ice maker. I was getting ready to buy <laughs> NASCAR. <laughs> Trying to get into diversity. I, you know, pimp game. So I, you know, I went to the little meeting. I'm down at Cows and Ruckus. But I found out that NASCAR is the longest sport and the most lucrative sport. It is. When you are involved with NASCAR, tailgating is huge. If NASCAR races on Saturday, you have to be there by Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. People pimp so out. Big. They, they the win a bagels, uh, and they uh, out there. They got shows. they eating and barbecuing and drinking. Mm. And the one thing they run out of is ice. Mm. What the what? Mm. Give me an ice cream. Give me a little, little piece of platform, a little four by six Say concrete I'm slab. Put me an ice. You don't even know the stuff. I'll be like, look, mm -hmm. we about to corner this. Mm -hmm. Right? When I became a certified Super Bowl business, in order to become a certified Super Bowl business, you have to first be certified minority. So you know me, I got on the emerging business committee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on there with, what's his name? Emma Smith and his wife, Pat Smith. That's so sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm on there with Emma Smith and Pat at the Cowboy Stadium. <laughs> Eating, man, I'm going to tell you, they had that pineapple, we were eating chicken, <laughs> uh, with some asparagus, grill, grill sp I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm just saying, and I'm already approved for when uh, 2017 it goes to Houston. Mm. Oh, they got a, did you know the Super Bowl is a non-profit organization? I know, oh, I yes, just, we yes, just, what did I do, yes, what did I just send to that? Yeah, we, but I heard, I heard they, they changed, uh, no, Ooh, I heard they changed yeah, it this no. year though. No, no, they well, no, they didn't. What they're doing is trying to put it in legislation and make it Baby, legal uh -huh. not to. That's they have a 501c3 and a 501c6. Yes. Baby, it's been going on since the beginning of school. I know, but mm -hmm. I read an article. Mm -hmm. I think it was, um, what they article said it don't was make it? Profit. What article? They said they they said they changed it this year though. I don't know. They no, they when I read no, the, remember no, that article no, I sent you? No, 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 I read they were trying. They were trying. They're, they're trying nah, to they said that. they. But no, they're not because no, they no. know it's business. Oh yes, it's all business. No, they know it's business, so it's they're not going to do that. So anyway, do you know that when you get certified, the government looks for you? 
I get my bids around 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm, you have no idea the troubles I get into. But I'm, you know, they look for you based on your next code. I said NAICS. Mm -hmm. I didn't say NICS. Oh. <laughs> NAICS, Northern American Industry Classification System. You're just a number. Mm, With the yeah. government, it's your job yes. description. You get it from the U.S. Census Bureau. Type in U.S. Census Bureau in the top left corner. It says search. Type in teacher, education, you. I have 21 NAICS codes. You have more than one. Everybody needs from them. I don't care what you do, you have more than one. When you put in your job description, down drops a list. I'm a realtor. Is it commercial, industrial, residential? Right? Residential. Mm -hmm. Single family, duplex. Mm -hmm. yeah. Down drop another one. Is it wholesale, retail, mm -hmm. builder? <laughs> so you got more than one. So when my bids come in, I, I put in construction. I got all kinds of stuff going on up in there. So I get all kinds of bids every day and because it, it makes me beneficial to my clients. You know they're getting ready to build over here? Oh, yeah. You know they're getting ready to put in this apartment complex and go over to the hood. Okay? So it's all kinds of stuff, but they, they market to you. So when you start looking at these contracts, you have to look at what is called the set-aside. Is it set aside for a minority-owned business mm -hmm. to bid? Is it set aside for a certified woman-owned bid? Mm -hmm. Is it certified for a veteran or a service-disabled vet? And this is how it goes. Mm -hmm. Certified um, service-disabled vet trumps everybody. Why do you want to be in business with a vet? That's why I married him. And he's service-disabled. <laughs> 60%. Which means we only pay 20% property tax. There's no story. Oh. Anyway, uh, and I made him 51% of the company. Fair play. Anyway, honey, I love you. Uh, if you're watching. Uh, so I made him 51% because service disabled vets trump, and I don't care what kind of certification you got, they trump everybody. So if I bid and, and you're a vet and you bid, you trump me every time. Mm. Service disabled vets trump every time. Under service disabled vet or veterans. Then you have MWBEs or NEPs. Mm -hmm. Okay? So when you look at the set aside, you want to know do you qualify to bid? Mm -hmm. Okay? So you're bidding against another company. Mm -hmm. These are million dollar, this is what they sound like. This is a three year contract with one year renewables, mm -hmm. with three one year renewables on the back end. Three years. Plus three more, more years? years. Mm -hmm. That's six years of guaranteed money. Exactly. All you gotta do is mess up, so I'm over there playing. No, I'm not what I'm doing. <laughs> right? So you got guaranteed money. All you gotta do is perform. But how many of you know it takes money to make, make money? money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is not it's it's not a free program. Because you won't have to do some stuff. You gotta get certified, then you gotta have some money, right? So those are the companies. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Empire, yeah, you don't have it, but last year, yeah. the state of New York spent $995,440. Oh. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Right? Right? You can't see it, but. That's how much they spent with minority business? Mm hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I can see it right here. Okay. Uh, let's go to the Department of Education. For MBE certified, they spent nine hundred twenty-three thousand dollars. For WBE, one point six million. Okay. Department of Health spent twenty-five billion. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. Anyway, now. No. Bros, that was free, 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 wait, oh. Huh? So, do they give the breakdown, too, of what those services were, even under it's education? Everything. Let me tell you what I do. Can I just tell yeah. myself, because, you know, you guys work for the Pope. Um, when I, there are certain mm -hmm. things I bid on, True certain that. things mm -hmm. I don't. Because the federal law says anything under ten thousand dollars, I don't have to bid against anybody. That's that low hanging fruit that we don't want to do because we black people because we're superior. But I love low hanging fruit. That means I don't have to bid against you. I can just get it. Just so right. what I do is I go to every city, every county, every state, every bureau, and I go and they go, hey, you gotta talk to me. You can give me five minutes, 
and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be ready. And I'm going to say, this is what I do. You need me. I'm going for the job. I'm going to do this. Here's my, it's called a capability statement. Here's my business card. Here's some references. You need me. What do you have that you need to get off your desk right now? I don't care if it is 10000 I need 5000 If I went to every city, and I, and I talk a lot in Texas, so I know in, in where I live in North Texas, there are 362 cities. So if I went to 362 cities in a year and did the same thing, how much money can I make? Right. You do the math. I can't carry two. <laughs> so I also bid every bid that I bid on. I, I don't always win. I lose, but I win. I'm going to tell you how I play the game. I will bid and go. You have to go to pre-bid meetings. You have to go. It's mandatory because if a change occurs, you won't know because you wasn't there. I'm yep. there eating the chicken and learning everything. <laughs> you laughing at my phone? Oh my God. I be eating that. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I go and I want to hear it, right? And I'm going to go and introduce myself. Let me just be honest. Let me be transparent. That thing with Parkland, this is what had happened. I read the, they're called RFPs, Requests for Proposals, mm -hmm. right? I read the proposal. I can't read mine on the computer, I have to print mine out. It's 275 pages. And you can't uh, read in the bathroom because your foot will go to sleep. I tried that too. <laughs> so you need to be sitting somewhere where your foot is flat and not in the bathroom. And so I have to highlight and use red sharpies because it sounds like you shall respond on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Like, is it Central Standard Time, Eastern? I don't know. And you shall not call Becky at this phone number. Shall not, but you give me a phone number. What are we gonna do? Call back. Is call. that what yeah. Central Eastern Standard Time? You just got eliminated. Mm -hmm. It was written by the federal government, military. Mm -hmm. You shall. And it says word like, and we mm -hmm. may pay you. This is just what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. So when I read, when I read that RFP, it said that I had to have 200 nurses on payroll, not subcontractors, but I had to have six months of payroll sitting in the bank. Six months of 200 nurses at $75,000 a year. I don't know what that equals. I can't afford it. So what I'm going to do is find a prime. So I have a friend of mine in Montana that's doing the same thing in Florida. I don't know. Long story. I said, hey, Chuck. Oops. Okay, I said, hey, Chuck. <laughs> Sorry, Cassie here. I hate that name. But hey, okay, you know. <laughs> I heard about... In Texas. Cassandra, send it on over to me. Hold on, buddy. I don't know you like that. <laughs> you going to sign a teaming agreement with an exclusivity clause. Because I'm a contract kind of girl. And what that means is we're going to team together mm -hmm. for this one contract, not all things. And I'm going to list that little contract number on there. And the exclusivity agreement says... It says because I carry that certified, so that's, I'm a certified minority on business, so I carry weight. But if you don't use me, you owe me the whole $400 million. My little part was only $4 million. The whole contract was $400 million. I kind of like wish you don't, don't do it so I'm going to get my whole $400 million. Mm -hmm. 